Hey, Shani from speedqbview.com. Let's talk about how to connect a StackMat timer to a computer. So you can use it in places like cstimer.net. And that's exactly what I'm going to show. So first, you're going to need a cable to connect it. And that's going to be a 3.5 millimeter, which is a normal headphone jack, to 2.5 millimeter. Now this is a three foot cable. I got it on Amazon. I'll link in the description where you can get that. Next, you need to make sure that your computer is receiving the signal. So on a Mac, you go to System Preferences. And then under sound, you can see the input and line in. Now if I turn on the stack mat, you should be able to see something right here. So if you don't, there might be a connection wrong. Now I've heard people saying that they need to alter the input volume, and I actually haven't found that completely necessary. So if you do, that might be something you need to adjust, but it shouldn't be a big deciding factor. Now the other thing you need is for the timer to accept it. And here's a big thing that people run into. They don't realize that the browser is blocking the website from reading your microphone, and that's a security issue. Now for Safari, I haven't found a good way for it to work. Chrome is supposed to let you know when it needs to access it, but it didn't, I can't seem to get that to tell me when it needs to have that happen. Firefox seems to work best for me. So on Firefox, I will go to CS Timer, and already is asking me about this. Now, if it doesn't, what you want to do, I'm going to go to a new window that's private. And this way it kind of resets all those settings. We'll go to CS timer again. And right now it's set for just spacebar. So we'll go to timer, change it to stack net. It asked me to use the built-in device. And there we go. So now it should automatically connect. Let's find out. And when I hit stop, this is 3.603 and 3.60. And when I hit reset, it resets it. Now it seems a little delayed on there on the screen, but it is exactly what's going on here. 4.444, 4.44. So that is how you connect it. The big thing that people need to make sure is that they are making sure the browser accepts this. Sometimes that's what's causing the issue. They have it synced up, they can see it's receiving it, but the browser isn't letting it go through for security reasons. Firefox works best for me. You might wanna try a different one for yourself and see what works for you. If you come into any issues, let me know in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.